Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is DJ Bryanic, if you did not know, and I am black with another video. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another movie review. I kind of like this new era of Dita Bionic where I'm doing movie reviews. I used to do movie reviews all the time with my friends uh, Jazz and Jeremy over on our old YouTube channel, Same Difference. Uh, right now, I am reviewing a movie that I uh, feel like I can't put too much, um, I guess, stock in. I don't have a lot to add to the conversation as a... Um, as a huge like super fan of the franchise because I simply am not a super fan of the franchise. However, I am a fan of horror and slashers and scary movies. And I have a lot to say as an actor, a director, and a general movie viewer, movie goer, avid, avid movie goer. I love going to the movies. So let's talk today about Halloween ends. Ugh. Okay, my first initial thoughts. Um, I did not enjoy the film. I'm sorry. And, and according to a lot of the things I've watched with my partner over the past couple days since the film debuted on the 14th, that's kind of the general consensus in the huge fan community. My partner, Ronnie, is a huge fan of the Halloween franchise. He loves these movies. These are his favorite films of all time. Well, not of all time, but they are very high on his list of favorite films. And... I enjoy them as well. I have not seen all of them. I've not seen Halloween 3 Season of the Witch and a lot of the like interim films, but I do really love the original Halloween. Um, I really love Halloween H2O. Um, and so I'm a casual fan, I will say, of the franchise. Uh, so as a casual fan, I saw Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, and I enjoyed both of those films. Halloween 2018 is easily the most enjoyable of the three. Um, I think it did the most right as a remake of, you know, the original Halloween or not even a remake as a kind of retcon direct sequel to the original Halloween. OK, so the story kind of follows Corey, I believe his name is. Let me do what I did for Hocus Pocus and pull up the cast and their names um because i'm gonna tell you right now the only person in this film that i know is jamie lee curtis <laughs> she is the only person in this movie and spoiler alert uh she is the only good part of the movie the film follows this guy, Corey Cunningham, who is played by Roy Campbell. Roy Campbell does a fine job in the role. He did. He did. He gave what he was supposed to had gave. Um, but I just. So the film starts a little backstory, a little synopsis. The film starts with Corey babysitting this kid. It's right after the events of Halloween Kills. Uh, the parents of the kid are going out to a Halloween party. Chaos ensues. And long story short, Corey ends up accidentally, very much accidentally killing this kid um, by knocking him over the railing and twisting his body all of all to all kinds of pretzels. He was bleeding all over the place. It was crazy. And so we flash forward four years. Now, Laurie Strode played, obviously, of course, by the iconic Jamie Lee Curtis, the Scream Queen has gone through therapy she has healed she's writing a book she's decorating for halloween she still can't carve a motherfucking pumpkin but you know we're here for her growth and her her change um and corey has kind of been exiled by the town everybody is is really giving him shit and making him feel horrible for you know killing this kid which was totally 100 percent an accident it was absolutely an accident it just was very weird to have an hour and 50 minute film not have any action until the last 20 minutes um is there killing yes <laughs> is michael killing people no and I think that's the thing for a lot of the super fans of the franchise. Michael wasn't doing the killing. Why does Michael Myers, why does Michael Myers, the shape, 
need a sidekick? That's the question we're all asking. Honestly, I can't even really give like a lot of details about what happens in the movie because nothing really happens in the movie. Let me jump back into the story a little bit. So Corey has been exiled by the town. He's still kind of trying to make it and be a person. It's four years later. He gets beat up by some kids, thrown over a thing. Um, and instead of dying, he gets drugged into the sewer and Michael Myers like imprints on him. I. <sighs> It was weird. It really was weird. So Michael's just been chilling in the, the oh, oh shit, I forgot. Spoiler alert, I'm so sorry. Spoiler alert, I am gonna be ruining this film. Again, there is not very much that happens, but I will be spoiling the biggest thing, which is the ending of the story. But spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the film, please stop, go watch it, come back. It's streaming on Peacock, or you can go and watch it in the theaters. My partner and I watched it on Peacock the night it came out, but I will give you a second to go and watch the film and return. He gets thrown over the thing. He gets drugged into the sewer grate by into the sewers by Michael, who has been eating rats, eating people. I don't really know what he's been doing down in the sewer. Why was he in the sewer? How did he get to the sewer? I have so many questions that were not answered by the film. Uh, so now he has been imprinted. Corey has been imprinted on by Michael Myers and is now like killing motherfuckers. Like, he kills a lot of people. Uh, and at one point, he even does, like, a tandem killing with Michael. It's really fucking strange. I, I really don't... I do not enjoy the storyline that they built into this that Corey was imprinted on by Michael and is now... Like, literally, they could have made it that Corey was a copycat killer. And because of all of the bullying and things that he... Uh, faced after the accidental killing of this kid, Jeremy, they could have tied that into the story, but still had Michael be the one. They could have even, it would have been, even been interesting if they took the, the storyline of Michael Myers is still, you know, he's come back after four years. He's healed magically somehow from having his fingers cut off and almost burning to death. He, you know, Michael Myers kind of has this supernatural aspect about him anyway. Michael Myers is still on the hunt killing people. You know, they they're kind of blaming it on this kid, Corey. I would I think I would have liked that a lot more if he was like a pseudo copycat killer, but wasn't actually killing people. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted more Michael Myers in the movie and he was only in the movie for like 10 minutes. Uh, so more stuff happens. Corey, after getting beat up, meets Allison, um, Lori Strode's granddaughter, who is now orphaned because her mom was killed at the end of Halloween Kills. Her dad was killed in the first movie, I think. Uh, played by uh, Andy Matichok. Matichok? Sure, let's go with that answer. Uh, and she like magically falls in love with him after four minutes. Like she sees him at the hospital where she's working and instant she's like, instantly she's like, that's the dick I want forever. The speed at which they fall in love with each other does not add up to the time frame of the story. I still couldn't even tell you, like, this haul takes place within, like, I guess a couple weeks, a couple days, maybe, because the movie ends on Halloween. It's like October 31st, and then it's the end of the movie. Um, but... I don't really, I don't get how they so quickly fell in love and she was so easy to turn on her grandma, just like the town so easily turned on Lori Strode. I don't get how everybody was like, Lori Strode is the reason Michael Myers killed all those people four years ago. What? Where was that storyline? How did that happen? When did, when did we get here? Also, where did this Corey character come from? Because he wasn't mentioned in any of the other films. He was never mentioned in one or two or Halloween 2018 or Kills ever. Where did he come from? Who is he? Why is he here? Corey goes back into the sewer. I don't really even know where I am in the story now because so much of the movie is spent with Corey kind of brooding. And then he goes back to like steal Michael Myers' uh, the mask. So now Michael Myers has been unmasked and beat up. <laughs> he 
he's been beat up, unmasked, mask stolen, hiding in the sewers. I don't know. I just really didn't like this movie. <laughs> I, anyway, I'm just gonna fast forward to the end of the movie because really, really, truly nothing happens for me. I When I think of a Halloween movie, specifically, not like a Halloween, like spooky Halloween movie, when I think of a Michael Myers Halloween film, I think of heart racing, spine chilling, blood, gore. Bus, club, another club, another club, plane, next place. It's terrifying. I expect to be like oh my god oh my god oh almost like shrieking away from the screen and i was falling asleep this is boring it's just a bunch of like brooding early 20s adults and jamie lee curtis being iconic for an hour and 50 minutes so here comes the big spoiler okay so um the kid Corey, has Stolen Michael's mask. He kills all the people who like bullied him. He kills the love interest of um, Allison, who wasn't really a love interest. She wasn't really into him. And he really just seemed like a creepy old guy. Uh, he kills the radio station guy who really, I don't really see a point of why he was in the film. He kills a bunch of people. And then he goes to go kill Lori. Lori is like faking um, an attempted um unaliving um self unaliving and then she's like in a really badass moment she's like did you really think i would kill myself and then like shoots him uh which that at that point the movie starts to get the good, get good and this is an hour and 20 minutes into the film an hour and 20 min minutes into an hour and 50 minute film she shoots him you know it's Corey. he ends up stabbing himself in the throat the the granddaughter comes in and she's like, what have you done? You killed my love. Everybody turned on him. Oh, my God. And she leaves. And then we find out that Michael Myers is in the house. And there's this huge epic fight scene between Lori and Michael Myers where she kills him. She actually does it. She murked that motherfucker. Um, Allison comes back in and kind of like helps save the day, but not really. And um, that was really, really, truly getting to see um jamie lee curtis as laurie strode every time she was on the screen or even her voice was just she was doing a voiceover it was beautiful it, it really it, she really is the embodiment of halloween the franchise when i think of halloween i think of michael myers and laurie strode jamie lee curtis it just synonymous uh, but anyway so Allison and um, Lori strap Michael to the top of the car. They drive to the, the, the junkyard. They throw him in the, the, um, the like car junker where it like crushes your body. And it's a really great CGI moment where his body gets completely disintegrated. And you see his like brains and guts pop out. It was really, really great. It was very gory, but very great moment. Um, and then Lori has her happy ending and that's it. I guess I can get into my final thoughts. <laughs> I, I, I did not enjoy the film. Uh, I keep in my mind trying to find saving graces, trying to find things that could maybe save it. Um, but compared to the other two films in this like new reboot of the franchise, it really doesn't add anything to the story. As a casual fan, I felt a little let down for the super fans. I feel like they were... We all were, but I feel like the super fans definitely were expecting expecting a more epic spectacle uh, from the film, and it really was more of just kind of a lackluster, um, I guess, love story. I don't really know. Uh, I didn't feel the Corey character was necessary. I felt like it was just kind of like, here we go. Let's let's take this idea and run with it. Um, I didn't think they needed to, you know, cut Michael out of it as much. You know, this guy, um, James Jude Courtney, who has been doing the shape for these films, he's f fantastic with what he does as Michael. You know, he doesn't say a single word, but he is so brooding and intimidating and terrifying genuinely in certain moments when he's like killing people and just kind of standing in the bushes. He's, you know, he's 
synonymous to the franchise. And, you know, there was a, a cool moment where Nick Castle showed up. I did not know that Nick Castle was the original shape until Ronnie showed me and or told me that. And as a casual fan, that's a cool thing to hear. Like, wow, they brought the original shape in. Where was the new shape? <laughs> Where was he? Halloween 2018 definitely did so much, right? It was such a great, enjoyable movie. Halloween Kills was enjoyable. It was gory. It was it was the spectacle that we all wanted. But it's it it started to peter out towards the end for me personally. Uh, there was a lot of like meh that happened in that movie, but it was still good, and I still liked it a lot. And then this Halloween ends just like. Oh, it really just didn't bring energy. It was missing energy. It was missing spectacle and fear and Michael Myers. <laughs> it was. I don't really know. I don't really know what else to say. I feel like I've said the same thing over and over for 20 minutes. From just in a moviegoer, it was just a bad movie. It really didn't have substance. It lacked substance. Um, and if they were going, if there was a point, if there was something that we were supposed to get, I didn't get it. Maybe I do need to watch it again to get it, but I, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to put myself through that again. That's my review. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I would recommend that you watch it and make a decision for yourself, whether you are a casual fan like myself, or you are a super fan like my partner, or you have never seen a Halloween movie ever, I would recommend that you watch it because it is a film. Um, it's an hour and 50 minutes, so maybe bring a blanket and a pillow because you might fall asleep at some point. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification every single time I post a video and let me know in the comments what you thought of Halloween Ends and give me another movie to review. I like doing these movie reviews. I am a super huge film nerd. I love movies. Uh, and, you know, as an actor, as a director, as a writer, I love just going to the film and dissecting the little bitty pieces and everything that happens. So give me another film in the comments. Turn on the notifications, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends. Shop Lunar Tides hair color for some cool spooky colors like the one that I have in my beard right now or the several many actually that I have in my beard right now. Uh, I'm always wearing a custom color. This is never just one color. So that's how good they are. Mm, get a little bit of money off. Mm. And... Um, <laughs> I will see you all in the next video. Bye.